The Uffizi inaugurates its new temporary exhibition spaces with a moving tribute to the men and women who have protected Italy's cultural heritage through the years and continue to do so today. The Comando Carabinieri per la tutela del patrimonio comunale, sometimes affectionately referred to as the Arts Army, is the branch of Italian military police safeguarding Italy's cultural heritage from crimes and counterfeit. This free exhibition, the Tricolor Defense, Gatekeepers of Cultural Identity, spotlights a variety of artworks from different periods that have benefited from the task force's work, offering a sample of just how much Italian institutions have put into the protection and defense of cultural heritage. Works on display are all partially or fully recovered subjects of terrorist attacks, war crimes, thefts or illicit deals, or have been otherwise targeted or compromised. We spoke with Uffizi director Ike Schmidt to learn more about what this show will teach visitors and about the cultural work of the Carabinieri. The relation between art uh, and crime, the relation of uh, our cultural uh, patrimony with the need to protect it and then to interpret it. Um, and what could be better in this context uh, than uh, the important action of the uh, special police force uh, of the uh, Italian uh, government of the Carabinieri I, um, TPG, the Tutela Patrimonio Culturale, uh, which is unique in the world. Uh, the exhibition analyzes in eight different chapters the development both of uh, crime against art uh, and against culture and the defense, uh, tracking down stolen paintings, starting in World War II, uh, paintings stolen by the Nazis from uh, the Florentine museums and the Italian museums, and the important role of Rodolfo Siviero, a true forerunner to the um, Nucleo TPC, and then uh, the establishment of the uh, Italian uh, force for the protection of uh, cultural property, and in various chapters and how crime um, uh, got more international, the relation between organized crime and terrorism nowadays. Um, and we have actually two works of art in this show that were uh, brought back only in the past few weeks. So uh, we go up to the present day. Um, it's a story from World War II to the, literally to the present day.